relatively chunky. I'll put the duck. Okay. I'm gonna go on top of the duck. What is up people, hope you're well. Welcome to the first episode of Campfire Cooking. Where hopefully I'll be doing multiple videos on things that we can cook around the campfire. Today I'm going to do a roast duck in a Dutch oven over the campfire. Uh, actually be using a, a fire pit today uh, just to keep everything contained. But yeah, we have the, the duck itself obviously, a whole duck. We've got sweet potato, got baby corn, garlic. Onion, dried bay leaves, chicken stock, new potatoes, leeks, oranges, carrots, and a bit of seasoning. So here's the Dutch oven. Always keep it seasoned. We're ready to go rock and roll whenever we need it. This is a little fire pit that I'll be using. Just so we don't make a mess of the ground. I'll get some gloves on to do this. Basically, let's get some of these poles out, move them around a bit. We don't have too much underneath. We want it to cook nice and slowly. I reckon that should be fine. I think we'll make some space for it. Let's see how it fits. That's not too bad, is it? So, we'll get some lard in. Right, so we'll get everything ready. Got some new potatoes. They can stay whole for the most part, just that big one. We've got these uh, baby corn. If we just cut any brown bits off. Again, that'll be fine whole. Carrots, we're not gonna bother peeling. Any little bits like that, just scrape it off with your knife. The rest is just fine as it is. Some nice big chips, because it's gonna be cooking for a few hours. Uh, it's about five o'clock now. Uh, I'm guessing it'll take about, probably four hours all in all. Um, so reality is it might be dark by the time we've finished cooking. But such is life, we'll be fine. Onions nice and simple. And I'll just chuck all this waste into the fire. No point messing around. Relatively chunky. Sweet potato here. I'm going to top and tail it. Then I'm just going to peel it. Nice and simple, as you can see. Buddy, come. Do a sweet potato peel. Hmm? Do a sweet potato peel. Right, so that's peeled. We've been sweet potato, this cooks really quickly. So just whack it in half. No point cutting that too finely, otherwise it'll just fall to nothing. It probably will do anyway, but we'll at least attempt to keep it in one piece. So we'll start out this leak. We don't need a great deal of it. Again, just chop it however you feel, it doesn't really matter. So, obviously we've got garlic here. Now, I'm going to cut this relatively chunky. We've got plenty of time to stew. Reduce all those aromatic flavours. We've got three here. Now, I don't think I'm going to put in the orange just yet. Um, 
I'm pretty much winging this recipe. So we shall all see how it goes if I fail. So, garlic. Chocolate relatively chunky. Doesn't really matter. So there we go. So first of all, we pop the vegetables in. And on top of that, we put the duck. It looks a bit big. Um, didn't plan that one out very well, but. Lad on the lid, just put it in the stick. And put the lid on. Oh, that'll be fine. So we've had about five minutes. Put the brown off the vegetables. Now we're going to add some water. Oh, this is just going to help steam it, it's going to help the little fire to go with it. And it'll stop everything from burning while we get control of the temperature. Now we'll just pop some coals on top, just so that it acts like an oven. And heats all the way around. I'm not going to put too many on just to begin with. That should be fine for now. I will just keep watching, keep an eye on it, and it just is necessary. I've just put some coals under here and some on top. It's getting a bit hot on the fire pit. So I reckon next time we'll just dig a fire pit into the floor. At least we can regulate the temperature better. Right, so let's take the lid off, see what she looks like. Time to add the garlic and the bay leaves. One and two. Oopsie. One and two. There we go. Spread the love. This is going to be non-tastic. Right, so it's time for the oranges. So I'm just going to slice these relatively thin. These are going to go on top of the duck. And then I will also squeeze the juice of another orange into the cooking liquid. So here we go with the orange. I'm just gonna lie a little bit on top. Lovely. Then we'll squeeze some in. <laughs> and we'll squeeze some orange in for the cooking stock. Beautiful. And you can talk now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you right. Right, so we'll add the chicken stock now. 
Is it this way? Break down into the broth. Add a bit of seasoning, some black pepper, some uh, Chinese white peppercorns, give it a bit of nominess. Orange back in the middle. This helps to prevent it from burning. Back on we go with the lid. Obviously we'll get some more coals built up. So now I'm gonna add some unrefined cane sugar. Just to counteract the acidity of the orange. Just sprinkle on however much you want. Yeah, just put some more coals back down on the ground. We'll get the Dutch oven on top, and then we'll get some more coals on top of that. Oh. Nice. That looks beautiful, Wait, it? can you put inside it and then can I have some of the chicken? Of course, So, duck's ready. Oh, looks good. So delicious. It looks delicious. It does, doesn't it, Marie? Yeah. It's lovely. Oh, it's falling apart, guys. It doesn't matter. New potatoes. No fine. Carrot. <laughs> Get rid of that bare leaf. Sweet potato. <laughs> Onions. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> Put a skin on there. Put this nice cooking liquid into it. Onto it. Um. There we go. Here we go, Ash. Well, thank you very much, sir. You heard the first one. Let me know what you think about it. Honestly. It smells absolutely delicious. Well, thank you. How's the duck? That is beautiful. Is absolutely it good? Absolutely beautiful. 